The PLC has many different features. Power is supplied to the L1 and N, which stands for Line 1 and Neutral. Inputs are on the top side of the PLC. Outputs are located on the bottom side. On the PLC extension, the same follows with the inputs and outputs. One difference is that the PLC extension has a communication tab. This tab connects to the main PLC for the communication from the PLC's program. The run stop light will be green when there is power supplied and the communication tab is pushed to the left. If the communication tab is pushed to the right, the light will be red indicating power is present but there is no communication. When replacing a Siemens PLC, there are a few steps to properly change it out. Start with disconnecting all power to the system. Label and remove all the wires on the top and bottom of the PLC. Using a small flathead screwdriver, pull slightly down on the DIN rail tab located on the bottom side of the PLC. This will allow you to lift the PLC off of the DIN rail. After pulling the PLC out of the box, place the PLC onto the DIN rail using the top edge to rest on the rail first, and then slide down and push the PLC onto the rail at the bottom. Reconnect your input and output wires according to the way they came out or the wiring diagram supplied. When replacing a PLC with an extension or just the extension itself, the steps are very similar. Disconnect all power to the system that you're changing the PLC on. Label and remove all the wires on the top and the bottom of the PLC and extension. You may actually have two extensions. In this case, just use the same steps for both of the extensions. Now, using a small flathead screwdriver, pull slightly down on the DIN rail tabs located on the bottom side of the PLC and extension. This will allow you to lift the PLC or extension off of the DIN rail. Disconnect the communication tab on the extension by pushing down slightly and sliding it to the right. The PLC extension has three feet that slide into the main PLC. You will also need to separate the extension away from the main controller about a half an inch in order to remove the extension. Before installing the new PLC with an extension, make sure you remove the communication tab dust cover from the main controller. This will allow access for the extension's communication tab. Once you have mounted the new PLC with an extension or two, don't forget to slide the communication tab to the left. The wires that you labeled are now ready to be connected to the PLC. If a wiring diagram came with the new PLC, follow the diagram and wire accordingly. Now you are ready to turn the power back on to the system. You should see the main PLC screen load up and the extensions will turn from a red run stoplight to a green once the program is fully loaded. Now you are ready to go.